Listen, um, you got any plans for this evening? No. You, all right, you're free for a bit. I've got a plan. I've got a serious plan. I was thinking about doing a John Legg fragrance review. Is that all right with you? Seriously? Oh, this is amazing. I will warn you though, I'm not an expert. I'm not a professional, all right? I'll warn you, I'm not your fragrance dude or anything like that. I'm a regular random guy. I will also warn you, I have a massive, massive energy. I have a massive, massive passion. And when I'm talking about fragrances or smelling fragrances, I'm just so excited. If any of that worries you, then don't stay for this review. But if you're up for it, please stay for the ride. All right. I am massively, massively hyped and excited for this one for four reasons. The first reason is because you are here. You, my friend, are here. And I can share this amazing fragrance with you. The second reason is that it is from the house of Paco Rabanne. The third reason... Oh yeah, the third reason, it's a 2023 brand new release. And the fourth reason... I kind of run out of steam. I've no idea what the fourth reason is. Okay, it's probably because it is actually a gorgeous fragrance. I am absolutely hyped and I'm ready to go. Let me, <laughs> let me first of all show you the bottle of the one that we're going to be talking about. It is Paco Rabanne's One Million Royal. It's got a funny red button on the front. I've been pressing it for hours. Nothing happens. Okay, don't worry about the packaging and the presentation. It looks very similar to all the other One Millions. Okay. All right, let's just go back to the beginning. All right, Paco Rabanne, for many, many years, in terms of fragrance, was like a car on tickover. Just sat there, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, just on tickover. You know, yes, he did launch some amazing fragrances. There was the original green one, I think it was just called Paco Rabanne for him, or sort of Pahav or something like that. Then there was things like Ultraviolet. What? Ultraviolet, you know, there were some amazing fragrances and he just was on tick over. 2007, he blipped that throttle. Seriously, he revved hard and this is the result. Look at that and you're gonna go, Leggy, you shrunk the fragrance. All right, this is a miniature. I don't have the original one million in a full size bottle. The only one I have is this miniature and yes I put it through the wash on the wrong setting and it shrunk. No seriously it is a miniature. Okay I do not have the original one million although I've had mm, I think maybe two or three bottles in the past because the problem with one million the original EDT it is still the same smell in 2023 it's still not a cheap fragrance it's still a very expensive fragrance for what it is but the performance is lousy i tell you what if you get 40 minutes of a you know a scent bubble all right the original one million seriously back in the day 2007 2008 and a few years around there this was a choking fragrance this was a room filler and you know what, if someone was stood next to you and they was on the phone, they'd say, um, can you move away, I can't hear them. Seriously, this would block phone signals. One million back in the day was a nuclear fragrance. Okay, it has been watered down and all the other sad things they do with reformulation. Same smell, not the same performance in 2023. Now, that's the reason why I don't have a bottle. It's not that I don't like the fragrance, because to be fair, and let's talk about it. It's not a spray, you have to sort of tip this out. It's only a miniature, calm down. <sighs> this fragrance, when Paco Rabanne launched a one million, he seriously rocked the fragrance world. Paco Rabanne's one million, and this is a fact, changed men's fragrances forever. It introduced a mainstream man to a ridiculously sweet fragrance, almost a feminine fragrance, that could be worn by a guy and seriously, absolutely loved by females. All right, there is not a female who I have ever sprayed this for who does not highly rate this fragrance. All right, let's try and talk about just the original Packer Rabanne 1 million. What is that fragrance all about? 
Okay, at the top shelf of this fragrance is a goodly amount of those. And you're gonna go, Eggie, how on earth they get that into the bottle? They probably squeeze it by. There's an awful lot of gorgeous, gorgeous, rich, creamy orange. There's also a bit of mint. Mint and orange, that's a beautiful, beautiful piercing start. Okay, drop down to the middle shelf and you've got like a spiciness dominated by citron. I'll be honest with you, there's a citron dominated by cinnamon. Come on, Leggy, pull yourself together. There is an awful lot of cinnamon. In fact, you could almost call the original one minion, minion. <laughs> Come on. The original one million is almost a cinnamon bomb. There is a gorgeous amount of cinnamon in there. Okay, along with the cinnamon is like a jammy rose, a gorgeous jammy rose in the middle. And you drop down and there's sort of like a woody ambery base. There's a hint of leather and there's some gorgeous sweet patchouli. All right, this is redunculously sweet borderline feminine fragrance and if you want me to summarize what the original one million edt smells like it is bubble gum in a bottle okay back in the day it, it kind of killed itself within a few years because every guy and his dog wore this fragrance you know because women loved it that much every guy it's a bit like savage these days every guy went out and bought one million because he wanted to pull the women and that's exactly what this fragrance did it was a woman puller okay now over the years because the original one million was so successful over the year packer three years packer raban launched a lot in the line of one million Okay, okay, let's just give you a few examples. You're right for a bit, aren't you? You said you got nothing on this evening. Right, you should never have said that to me, because I'm going to go on forever. Here we go. Right, one of the very early versions of One Million is this beast. Can you see that? It's called One Million Absolutely Gold. Right, that is a perfect, perfect title, because this one, <clears throat> this one, is everything that the original one million is only bigger all right i don't mean the size of these bottles man forget it it's a miniature but everything in absolutely gold is the original just turned right onto full volume this is seriously it sticks to your skin like glue it's not as far reaching as the original edt it sits a lot closer but it sits there for a mighty long time get it on clothes this absolute absolutely gold owns clothes it owns your skin for best part of a day and a half all right okay i say it doesn't perform as wide far reaching as the original edt but this just sits there and just chugs along because it is an absolutely deep rich bomb it is strong okay what about a more sort of recent release this one now the only problem i have with a one million perfume is on my particular skin i don't get more than about three hours out of this it's an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous fragrance take the original dna of one million and sort of blow across it the dna of amani code profumo that sort of tonka rich amber and that is pretty much where you're at with this this is perfect for the hot weather this is a gorgeous summer version of one million <coughs> excuse me this unfortunately on my skin it fizzles out after about three hours and i'm like come on man i'm just getting into that fragrance and it's gone i know other guys who wear this they reckon they get all day out of this i just don't on one million perfume and it is a such a pity because the smell it's one of the best of the one million line okay let's come sort of right sort of up to date 2020 three or no 20 we're in 23 now where are we 2022 saw the launch of this bomb okay one million elixir okay you're gonna to say to me leggy over the years how much dna of the original one million is in each of these all right let me tell you a leggy story because this is probably the best way of seeing what happens to the one million DNA.
across the years. Let me take you please to the beach. Come on, book it, Spain, let's go. Let's go to the beach. You're on the beach, you build a sandcastle. Don't tell me you haven't done it. Everyone's done it, so please stay with me. So you build this sandcastle and the tide's coming in, okay? You're, you're really sort of pleased with the results. It's massive sandcastle. You stand back and you, oh, yeah, yeah. The sea's never going to destroy that. But you know, the first wave takes a little bit away. Next wave in takes a bit more away. And as the waves come across this sandcastle, it sort of erodes this sandcastle. And the end result is just maybe a little sort of bump. You can just see roughly where your big sandcastle was. The sea has smoothed it all over and pretty much levelled it out. But <coughs> excuse me, there is still a bump where the sandcastle was. That is what happens with the DNA of one million. As the years go on, and I'll be perfectly honest with you, now we're talking about the uh, one million elixir. Yes, there is a hint. There's a hint of the original DNA, but realistically, that is a deep, sexy, vanilla, woody, gorgeous, rich, unbelievable scent. I absolutely love one million elixir. It has amazing performance. But realistically, if you were to say, Leggy, how much DNA of the original in there, I'd probably have to say about five or five or fifteen percent tops, five, ten, or fifteen, somewhere around there. There isn't a massive amount of the DNA of the original left in there. But <laughs> that said, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous twist on the one million story. Okay, where are we? We are now in 2023, and the House of Pakaraban launched this one. Okay. It is one million royal. It is called one million royal perfume. Okay. It's not called elixir, and we'll come to that in a minute. It's called one million royal perfume. Hmm. All right. The smile on my face tells you. Is it a good smell, Levy? This is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous smell. How much of the original DNA of one million is in there? All right. Very little, really, if we're honest. And let me prove this. I've sprayed this for maybe 15, 20 guys, and only two of those guys use the word one million. Right, nobody recognised this as anything to do with one million. But let me tell you, of those guys and the girls, I sprayed it for because I took it to work. I've sprayed it for friends, family, neighbours, aunties, uncles, cats, dogs, everything. I've sprayed it for everything, and not one person disliked this fragrance. The girls, especially, and this is what you want to know, guys. The girls, especially, absolutely loved this fragrance. The, the few girls I've sprayed it for, they just said, yeah, Leggy, that is gorgeous, that's awesome, what is it? None of them particularly, rec well, none of them at all recognised it as being anything to do with one million until I told them, and then the one girl went, oh, okay. Well, seriously, if you are buying this because you like the original EDT and you want a version of it, don't expect to be able to smell the original DNA obviously yes it is there and especially if you know the edt well then you will pick out just about the original dna right let me tell you about the first time i wore this first of all this is what you really want to know within the space of two hours i had had four four that's four people comment on it all right so let me tell you this is a compliment getter if that's what you're looking for. Right, okay. Now, let me be perfectly honest. The first time I wore this, after about 10 minutes, I was, yeah, I'm getting it now. I'm thinking, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mail. And you're gonna go, seriously, let me? Yeah, there is, there's a weird, but wonderful, there is a weird, but wonderful, creamy, minty lavender in this. And every now and then, not all the time, but every now and then, you get a little bit of Le Mail pop up in this one. I mean, that 
That's not a problem. That's a fantastic place to be. That's a clever use of that sort of lavender. Because you know what? The original uh, one million, I don't think there was any lavender in there. But this has got a creamy lavender in there, in the middle of this fragrance. If you're familiar with Le Mile, you will know exactly what I'm on about. Creamy lavender with a bit of mint. Okay. Now, the other thing in this which stood out to me, <laughs> because after wearing this for a while, I was like, wait a minute, I'm thinking of another fragrance. I started thinking of Jean-Paul Gaultier again, this time Scandal, the original Scandal for him, the EDT, because, and I think this is what this is, there is a sort of, there's a clary sage note in there, which is that sort of slightly moody herb, and there's like a tonka in there. Now, this, this, <laughs> I love this Scandal for him, as you can see, I've hammered the 150ml bottle, this appears in one million one million man come on like this the clary sage and the sort of tonka vibe appear in one million royal but i suppose what i need to tell you is that for the most part one million royal shares a lot of similarities with last year's one million elixir Okay. It seems that Packer Rabanne have come up with this elixir vibe. They've already rolled it out onto Invictus Victory in a beautiful way, but that takes Invictus Victory into more elixir with a little bit of victory. Okay. One million royal has a lot of similarities with last year's one million elixir. So, have I given you enough information? It's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. It's a very mature scent. I would say it's possibly better suited for the cooler weather. You may be able to get away with it in the summer, perhaps evenings. I would avoid the heat with this one because it's quite a heavy sort of fragrance. It has a hint of the DNA of the original one million. It has a creamy sort of lavender in there from La Mile, and it has a sort of a clary sage and a tonka sort of vibe from Scandal for Him. You're going to say to me, Leggy, is it sweet? Yes, this is sweet, but it's sweet in a masculine way. It's all right. It's not as sweet and as maybe some guys would class feminine as the original, but it, yes, it is a very sweet fragrance. <laughs> I think this is going to sell for around about £110 British money for the 100 mil. Now, it's pretty comparable in price to last year's Elixir. I think the Elixir is more like £120, £125. So it's, it comes in a little bit cheaper than Elixir. But I'm going to be honest, I'm going to put my hand on my heart and say, if you have elixir, you don't particularly need royal. And conversely, if you've got royal, you don't really need elixir because they're very, very sort of similar. Not so much up close, but in the air, they're very, very similar. All right, so, all right, let me give you some advice from the heart, from Leggy. And this is actually being serious for once. <laughs> wow. Okay, make a note of this one. Time stamp it on the video. Leggy was serious. Right, here we go. So if you have last year's one million elixir, I would suggest that you don't rush out and buy royal. Wait until your bottle of elixir runs out and then go and buy Royal. And that way you'll be very familiar with Elixir and you'll be able to try Royal. Because they're similar, you, know, you won't go, oh man, I'm disappointed. Because they're similar, you'll be able to actually work out which one of these two beauties you prefer. And then when you come to buy your next bottle, you can choose. Okay, I'll be honest with you. The performance is similar on both. They are both between five and six hour fragrance. Okay, neither of them are sort of far reaching fragrances, 
both of them sit quite close, about just over, over just over half an arm's length around you. Okay, let me tell you that whilst they're not crazy projection, they are nevertheless very, very persistent. For six hours solid, that is all you as the wearer can smell. And I tell you, within the first two hours, I've got four people comment on this one. Okay, I was with people, they weren't sort of a long way away and smelling it. I was close to people. Four people within the first two hours commented, complimented on Royal. So I'm gonna say, they are very similar, not perhaps different enough to own both, but when you've run out of one, try the other, and then you'll know which one to replace and sort of have as you go to. All right, have I given you enough information? <sighs> Probably, have I blown your head apart? Probably. <laughs> right, I apologize, this is a long review. I apologize, I'm not a professional. I apologize for my <laughs> crazy enthusiasm and my bubbling over passion. I can't hold that back to be fair. As soon as someone sprays a fragrance, I'm, what is it, what is it, I wanna smell it. I'm so excited and my collection is massive and my dream, seriously, my dream is to share it with you. Now, whether you go away and you buy one of these fragrances that I've been talking about or any other fragrances that I've reviewed, that is your choice, please. You make those choices. But what I would love you to go away from this review is with a massive smile on your face and just a mindset. I'm gonna go and get a fragrance. I'm gonna go to my wardrobe and I'm gonna spray a fragrance. I'm gonna put it by my front door, ready to spray before I go to work. I'm gonna put one in my bag. I'm gonna put one in my glove box of my car so I'm ready to spray all the time because it doesn't matter what you're doing in that day, please spray. I am gonna go now. I'm gonna love you and leave you. In fact, I'm gonna bid you farewell. But before I do, I need you to promise me two really important things. Promise me, wherever you are on this beautiful planet, that you will try and stay safe. Okay, that's really important. But more important than that, number two on the agenda, is that you promise me you will spray a good... <coughs> <coughs> spray a good fragrance. Let me show you how you do it. <laughs> Every single day. Wear it, enjoy it, and love it. I'm going to let you go now. Good night and goodbye.